The Chesterfield Gorge is a natural formation of ancient rock that emerged from the seabed half a billion years ago. Through the ages, it's been shaped and carved by glacial force and roaring water runoff. Today, this stretch of the Westfield River attracts hikers, cyclists, anglers, and photographers. Connecting Point producer Dave Fraser visited the gorge this summer, along with Jim Caffrey from the Trustees of Reservations. I think the, the most important thing about open space is what uh, Charles Elliott, the trustee's founder, said, it's the healing power of nature. Uh, people come here to get a break, to, to relax, to regenerate themselves. We're here at Chesterfield Gorge. This is in West Chesterfield, Massachusetts. It's on the east branch of the Westfield River, and it's a rock gorge that was cut by glacial action over thousands of years. Chesterfield Gorge is one of over 110 properties the trustees of reservations own. Uh, the trustees is a, a land trust statewide that has been active since 1891. One of the first things that the trustees did was to create a study of the most threatened uh, landscapes in Massachusetts, and Chesterfield Gorge was on that. Uh, they acquired it in 1929, so it's one of the early properties and uh, one of our continuing success stories. The Westfield River itself is uh, three branches. The East Branch starts in, in Windsor, Massachusetts and comes down into Chesterfield, goes through the gorge and makes its way into Huntington. And at the confluence in Huntington, it meets the Middle Branch, which comes from Middlefield and the West Branch, which comes out of Beckett, and all together they go into Westfield and then meet the Connecticut River. Glacial meltwater formed this gorge. It was tremendous amounts of water over hundreds and thousands of years coming off the last glacier. If you think we had a, about a mile thick of ice when that started to melt, torrents after torrent came through here and it carved through the rock. The rock is uh, uh, schist, which is originally a sea bottom mud that's been more metamorphized. So you'll see water worn rocks, you actually see potholes, which are caused by uh, scouring the rock, spinning of the water with uh, rocks inside them that cut down and make these little holes. Uh, you actually see a, uh, a dike in there, which is an igneous intrusion, it's a white uh, quartz rock, and that actually cuts right across the whole gorge. You can see the remnants of it. That's a harder rock and that uh, stands out. The gorge is about an eighth of a mile on the river and it reaches depths of about 70 feet deep. It's probably uh, 60 to 70 feet wide. On the uh, north end of the uh, gorge is the famous bridge abutment. That was a bridge that was built in the early 1770s. Uh, it was part of the original post road from Albany into Boston. After the Battle of Saratoga, the Hessian troops that were captured were marched across the bridge. And uh, General Lafayette, when he came back here in the early 1800s on a sort of a triumphant tour, came across the bridge. So uh, the bridge was uh, destroyed in a flood in the middle 1800s. People use the gorge for a lot of different uh, outdoor recreation uh, things. Uh, below the gorge is uh, a really excellent fly fishing area. In fact, it's uh, nationally and internationally known. Uh, the East Branch Trail is uh, hiking, biking, all that kind of thing. Uh, people can swim below the gorge, they can't swim in the gorge, so on a hot day you can dip your toes down the river. And then just uh, coming in and really taking in the grandeur that's the gorge. Uh, for Massachusetts, this is a pretty incredible feature, and uh, especially if you're living in the Pioneer Valley, this is uh, really quite a dramatic change to come up and see uh, a gorge like this. Mm -hmm.